This will be fun trying to get him out of the truck by ourselves. Fingers crossed. Good morning, modern steaders. It's a big day today. We got a lot going on here at the homestead. We gotta make our smoker. We got piglets coming, and I'm pretty excited. I put slime in my tire last Sunday. As this tire kept going low, a lot of modern steaders said, put slime in it, don't put a tube, and it's held, and it's cold out. I need to get the tractor warmed up, let it run for a little while before we can put it to use. It's 28 degrees out this morning. The colder it is, let me show you. You need to, there we go. Turn the key on. That right there is your glow plug. So we're gonna turn our key part way and we're gonna count to like 20 seconds and let that glow plug warm up. While our tractor's warming up, let me show you. <gasps> Look what I went to get. How you girls doing? Is that hay nice? There is two in there, believe it or not. Yep. What? What? <laughs> we'll leave them in there for a little while. The weather's been cold, rainy, and chilly. So I didn't get outside yesterday and get some of the projects I wanted to get done first. So let's go out here in the pasture and get a few things ready for the pigs. Put our gate back on. We're gonna leave the pigs in the pen for a few days and we'll train them to the electric fence. the door on the inside. There we go. Put the feeder back where it belongs. We'll put the lids back on. The pigs won't be using the automatic water. It's gonna be too cold the whole time they're here. So, now I can use the strap to strap our feeder in place. Put our strap on it. Now, spring on the homestead is usually like the most exciting time of the year. There's a lot going on. There's always something new happening. I feel that way about this winter. I'm very excited. There just seems to be so much going on. We have the winter pigs. We're gonna be doing an upcoming class come springtime. We have so many projects we're gonna be doing. It seems to be new. Everything around the corner. Now let's put our top on with our hinges. There seems to be plenty of non-frozen water in here. I don't want to empty it in the pen. I'll bring it over here and get it empty. It's a drain. We didn't have great luck with the metal hinges on the automatic feeder. So we're gonna take them off. We'll save them. 
We're gonna use plastic ones like we did in the $30 chicken coop. Those seem to be holding up nicely, so let's see how it works. The pig feeder. If you haven't seen the video on the $30 chicken coop, we built in 30 minutes. I'll put a link to that right here. And the answer to your question is no! I still haven't got a T-Post driver yet. I know. You can only afford so many things. Do a little bit at a time when you can, depending on your priorities. It'll look better once it's all finished. Trust me. I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing, and then as the process is going along, I think you'll get it better. We have our IBC tote with a hole cut in it. This is gonna be great for them right now while they're small. Two pigs can get in here with hay. They'll stay super warm. We're gonna be putting cattle panel hoop house mudroom on the front of this. And we'll cover that with a tarp later on so when the pigs get bigger, if they don't both want to fit inside the IBC tote, they can be in this area. And even if they both go in the IBC tote, it'll act as a windbreak for them. Here we go. I'm going to get a top for it later on. But for now, I'm not worried about a tarp. If they get cold, both of them can fit into the IBC tote for now. I just need to make sure I had the cattle panel up and the T-post in the ground, because pretty soon, we won't be able to drive these in the frozen ground. Get the food and water ready, and ready for the pigs. keep their water by the electric fence. I don't want them to hit the fence per se, but I want them to learn to obey the electric fence. The pigs are a lot bigger than I remember them last week. They almost have double in size. They gotta be pushing 100 pounds a piece. This will be fun trying to get them out of the truck by ourselves. Fingers crossed. So my plan involves a tractor, three boards, and a ratchet strap. You guessed it. I'm gonna go get a bale of hay out of the back of my truck and put that in the IBC tote farm before we let them in the pen. Let's put some hay in there. We have plenty of insulation to keep them warm. Nice 
thing about hay is they'll use it for bedding, they'll eat it, they'll compost it. These little bales out here, they can do what they want with them. So far, so good. We're coming up to a new home. There we go. Come on. Wrong corner. Oh, you're fine. Wrong corner. Look, you can go out, you're free. We got back up. Oh, there you go. How about you, honey? You ready to go out? Come on. Your head. There you go. All your new area. They're already checking it out. Pooping and everything. What? I'll have to wait till tomorrow and let Olivia name them. Have to figure out which one's prosciutto and what we're gonna name the other one. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited for our first winter piglets here at Lumna Acres. Now we gotta go work on our smokehouse. Hopefully it's not frozen to the ground. Not too bad. Now that we have the smokehouse outside, let's go get the firebox. This is all stuff we have at Lumna Acres that we're using. Made in Taiwan. Huh. Never noticed that before. Pull the whole stove back and bring the pipe that way. We might not even need 
that extra pipe, believe it or not. All right, let's get a fire going. Try it out. We've got the fire going a little bit, but look at this. It's smoking. Woohoo! I see smoke. Oh yeah, it's working perfect. A little warm, but not hot. Nice. We do have a gauge on our cooker. Tell us what the temperature is. We want to make sure we're, we want to be 80 degrees would be nice. We don't want to be up high. Oh, I like seeing that. Got, can't see it, but we have one, two, three racks. It's an old air compressor tank that I cut up. There, now we got the first fire going. I'll let that one burn pretty good, let it warm up, burn off anything in the pipes and in the stove. And then tomorrow we'll relight it and we'll smoke some bacon with some apple wood. This is going to be good. Let's check in on the pigs and see how they're doing. We got a few frozen apples for them too. They seem to be doing good. Did you figure out the food yet? Want some apples? Oh, they like the apples. Today was a fun day. We got our winter pigs. We got our smoker set up. Tomorrow we get to use the smoker and move New York City. I'm looking forward to this. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.